I asked our audience, what would you ask Todd? <laughs> Big question from many. Why did you not optimize this game for PC? Uh, we did. It's running great. It is a next-gen PC game. We really do push the technology, so you may need to upgrade your PC for this game, but it's got a lot of great stuff going on in it, and the fans are responding awesome. It does not seem like we're gonna get an update soon. Where do I want to start? With this post from Reddit? Sure. That's the interview. There's a link. I'm gonna link that Reddit post. There are goddamn a lot of comments. 30,000 upvotes. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna give you a patch, an update soon on Steam or whatever. The game hasn't had a single goddamn update since the launch sadly and i have the worst kind of problems mine starters that's a different game that's not starfield but i can download you in the meantime there you go yeah so it means you need to upgrade your pc and well then that probably doesn't come over quite as well as Exhibit number eight that, well, his optimization is BS, non existent. Is Starfield's biggest mod, the upscaler, replacing FSR2 with DLSS, which a few days ago it had over 100,000 downloads. Now it's four times, three times as much with 4,000 downloads. And if you don't know how much that is compared to other games, I can bring it compared it previously with Starfield no not Starfield Shadow Survivor Shadow Survivor it's biggest mod that's made the performance be with you which is 65 uh, 556 damn it English numbers and German numbers they are getting pronounced differently so 56 thousand to four hundred and six thousand that this game this mod was one of the first mods that came out in early access so a lot of people downloaded that, that and it didn't help me with my stutter i have the worst stutter that's something else that's a little bit newer there's a second mod from him that's optimizing the ultra medium and low settings that apparently makes it so that there are less people in the cities from what I understood it seems like it here so the safeties are emptier and therefore you can run the game a little bit better in cities I need to try that too more FPS and less graphics quality losses performance oh, there's so many goddamn mods but let's go to the reviews I've looked up quite a lot for anti stutter because that's my problem. And this one might look a little bit more promising. Sprint stuttering fix. That's something also I'm gonna have to try. Yeah. Metacritic. Let's get that out of my screen. Let's get that out of my screen. As user and critics reviews and the user reviews are often getting very low when the PC specs aren't good. Uh, the PC specs and optimization is just bad with this game, so it's very mixed to low. 5% ain't that good, but that's no surprise. Also, the critics' reviews were out even before early access, and uh, Metacritic user scores were like unlocked a few hours ago. It didn't let you review that game earlier, the same thing on Steam almost where you couldn't review the game earlier in early access only when it fully released and a few hours afterwards it's like being in a fishbowl jumping from one bowl to another instead of great wasteness of the ocean that's a funny line but yeah okay here we have so many goddamn pc reviews i'm pretty sure it's better on xbox but 
outdated game, outdated engine, outdated dev team, outdated CEO, Port Harvard. Ah, oh, he's telling us lies, always. Yeah, there's, there's a lot here and I can't read through all of that. I'm just going to link it for you. If you actually want me to read through all of that, that's going to be hours. Because there's so much. There's so much. Ah. Oh. Red four from space. Oof. Lies. Loading screen. Lies. It promised us a lot of things and it delivered almost nothing. Many loading screen damaging the immersion. Yeah, and such. So oh. many promises. Few delivered. Uninspired game. Outdated graphics. Engine. Ugly face animations. I'll have a video of that. And I'll find it real quick. Du -du -du. I'm having followed New Vegas music in the background, by the way. Where's my video of the girl with the weird face? Oh god, I shouldn't look that up right now. I probably deleted it. There it is. Pretty much the notebooks experience. Okay, there we go. There we go. There she is. There's the girl. I don't know if I also uploaded it on YouTube. But damn, that's. On my worst notebook where the game runs better. I'm gonna get to that too. Oh, why not right now? Okay, I've uh, uploaded the video code stuff with PC still a problem. No video cards, blah blah blah. With 33 comments and almost 2000 views, which is a lot for me. And everybody has commented the troubleshooting problems they have, like running it on a good new SSD. That was his fix. Some people like me just have unsolvable stutter that they can't get rid of. And I, I don't know if I've said it in this description. No, but uh, they are my PC specs, by the way. NVIDIA RTX 380. And the game runs better on my cheaper, worse notebook. Okay, music, that's the wrong. That's, that's more chill. Yeah, SSD problems, of course you need to install it on an SSD, but it apparently also matters which SSD you on. But even people with better setups and my biceps is itching. I'm making weird movements. Doesn't matter if you're on a good setup too. Low FPS, you will always have them. There's a chart somewhere, I don't think I can find it. <sighs> but a lot of people are cursed with that problem and not just low fps gone there's a recent one i really really want a surrealistic sci-fi with crafting and chips but this game is not for me ceo is a billionaire clown about the performance uh, we did you may need to upgrade your per se that's pretty much the title of the video you're watching the company didn't spend money on improving the engine gave it to investors instead no Man's Sky flying around smoother, Kingdom Come better face animations, connection link between two factory buildings in the outpost is floating red line when you are in building menu lazy. I don't know, but that one didn't experience this one before. Game about loading has the worst UI. RBF, there is a UI mod, I forget about that. It's getting up there with the numbers. There, yeah, almost 200,000 downloads. That's a new AI mod, Star UI inventory. There are a lot of UI mods, I forgot about that. Yeah. Does that mean? I should download that. Damn it, stop looking at the next mod. Mini maps. This one makes me angry again. It worked in previous game. What is going on? I don't know. Uh, you've seen the mini map definitely. Still build mini map i just want to compare it real quick and see if i can find a good comparison that's pretty much the minimap even for cities and towns and that's just the laziest worst thing ever let's see me andromeda mini map does it have one ah that's the i mean that's the no that was the minimap is it? No, it's not. God damn, I can't even find a minimap for this game now. Does it not have one? 
it's pretty much there it is that's the mini map or the map in general no oh, i can't zoom in and my face comes right in the way that's not it damn it damn it there need a reddit post <sighs> need a team chief out there that's the Mass Effect Andromeda minimap, which is, in my opinion, the most comparable game to Starfield. Can I compare it the most? And this versus. No, I need to get rid of the other one. Versus this. Versus this. Show me Reddit. While the music is hyping up. This thing versus this thing. And Mass Effect Andromeda got shit on for every little mistake they did. Most stuff it mostly gets defended. It's a very decent game. It has a cool a lot of cool stuff that would be nice to play if you could play it without Stella. Most people can just go with this. Stuff it is getting really bombed by people with nothing better to do. I mean I would have something better to do that's playing stuff here if it would work. And I don't wanna read this. Okay, anything else on Metacritic? I saw one good more Steam review, I just need to find it. There's so much here. You need a little patience and you need to like Bethesda games. Uh, it stirred us, man, and it's not solvable. Yes, the game is not perfect. <laughs> Even the good reviews are like that. Uh, one can't be seen that shambles by. Uh, hate is gonna be hate. By far the best Bethesda game. No. No, all of three in Skyrim. Definitely better. Okay. Yes, technical issues. Good reviews. Oh, what's Mass Effect? All right, some mass technical issues, stability problems, awkward design choices, glitches. I get a lot of those. Wait for batches, drive updates, and possibly overhaul mods. So far, it's the 8th of September, and there were no goddamn updates for this game. So I don't have high hopes. Maybe right after I upload this video, that would be perfectly timed. Okay, small glitches. I have that the space combat is not that good with mouse and keyboard. Actually, I like it kinda. If it wouldn't stutter, performance and stability is the biggest issue for me. It runs better on my notebook, my cheap notebook with a GTX 170. Then on my good goddamn. Mm. Yeah, game. Okay. Anything else article wise? Stuff at critics. User zerreißen das Spiel auf Metacritic. They're tearing the game apart on Metacritic. Translated. Mm. But uh, every critic seems to defend it. They're getting paid well, it seems. Ah, oh, damn. There it is. And Nvidia Specialists. Negative review. I cannot recommend this for following reasons. That's the optimization problems. No FOV slider, no gamma slider, no brightness slider, no way to set render resolution without going to windowed. What? Not even a proper rest scale option. Nearly all resolution options replace exclusively with AMD's terrible upscaling. Exclusive AMD partnership to push inferior upscaling. Most that replace it and are much better quality. But all the upscaling should have been in from day one. They probably won't give you that. Oh, the abysmal performance on nearly all hardware it does not scale well, even with a 580. RTX 90 and with the works and the works hardware is just being leveragely lever leverage the rage damn it that's not an English word I know ah oh. ah oh, damn <laughs> love how every second positive review is defending the game that it's not that perfect so much up short version pros taught howard <laughs> okay bro uh... damn so many reviews there's one 
There's one that I'm looking for and I can't find it. It's a short one, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Game engine first outdated. Ah, oh, play dual character models. Okay. Born too late to explore Earth. Born too soon to explore the galaxy. Born just in time to be gaslit by Todd Hart. Okay. Where's the good one? Ah, uh, Bros, no microtransaction. Oh, I forgot about that. They will be coming, don't you worry. Hmm. That might need to sneeze since I started pressing the recording button. And I'm holding it back the whole time. Hmm. At least it's better than Diablo. It's the worst Bethesda game to date. I have all the building blocks of a great game, but it's shallow. It has all the building blocks. Oh, undercooked. Mm. There. Holy hell, this game has a lot of reviews. It's insane. And I still can't find the one I'm looking for. Walking Simulator. Yeah, you do quite walk a lot. I I am not getting stable FPS with my goddamn 380. Fallout with more loading screens. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna find the last one. Damn it. Oh, runs like shit. Even for recommended specs, needs to fix ASAP edit. Thought how it's response to PC optimizations concerns show that they will keep ignoring the poor optimization effort, so I refunded the game. Uh, posted 6th of September. I don't find the last one. Ah, oh, to the fix it in five years. Five years, yeah. Oh, god damn. There are so many goddamn reviews. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna play another star game that's called Star Siege Dead Zone. I believe they finally f fixed their game at least. Made it better. Holy. Oh, okay, no, I'm done. I'm done. Peace out.